afternoon everyone and welcome back to Joe's Healthy Cupboard. It is, hmm, what day is it Ivy? What day is it? Oh, it's Wednesday today and school has been off for the past two days so I've been thinking about making a video and only just getting around to it. We've actually just had a power cut so I had planned to like spruce myself up and make myself look nice, shower for you guys but unfortunately the water was freezing and the only battery power I have is in this camera. Thankfully it was charged so I thought this is the perfect time to make a video. So um, you just doing some drawing. So what I want to talk about today is reusable nappies and wipes again because I just feel like I've grown in confidence so much over the past couple of months in using them. Last night we used them for the first time and previously, oh somebody's wanting fed, um, previous to that I think I'm gonna have to halt the video here for a second. So we've gone with the narrow zoom because Ivy is now having you might see her hand popping up every now and then. But I wanted to really just talk about the three key reasons why I think that switching to reusable nappies and wipes is really important. We're not perfect, we still use wet wipes um, sometimes when we're out and about or like if the poo is really messy. Let's just be honest, you know, a reusable wipe may not always cut the mustard. And depending on what your level of kind of comfort is with um, human poo, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so as I said, we've just got so used to using these. I'm still a huge fan of the all-in-one nappies, which I've shown before. This is Bambino Mio and it's an all-in-one. So suitable from, you know, I think this is suitable for all ages, although it might be a bit big for a baby. And obviously we didn't switch until Ivy Rose was about eight months old, or was it nine months? And I totally get not doing it in the early baby stage because you're so overwhelmed with the amount of washing you have to do, constant puking, constant poo explosions. But I don't know how many washes you'd have to do if you did it at the very, very baby stage. But from, say, when they start weaning, like six, seven months, and then the number twos get more solid, but they're not maybe changing the nappy, you're not changing it as much. I think that it's an easier transition to make. Um, and I just want to like remove the fear and there's a lot of myths around cloth nappies. Perhaps I fit into the stereotype of the type of mum who you think would use them anyway, but there isn't a type of mum. There's so many people I know you would least expect using cloth nappies. So anyway, the three key reasons why I think switching to cloth nappies and reusable wipes, at least some of the time, are number one, what is in those nappies? Um, do you want to be putting that on your baby's skin? I don't know. I mean, I don't think there's enough research out there to say that disposable nappies exactly what's in them, but I know that there's a lot of ingredients in there that only recently when I looked into it did I think, I'm not sure if I'd looked into this properly before that I would have been comfortable using the disposable nappies for so long with my son and then obviously um, for the first seven or eight months of Ivy Rose's life. I'm not going to do any scaremongering because I just don't think that's important. If people want to know what's in nappies, it's easy enough to go and look it up. That's the first element, the kind of chemicals that are in the disposable nappies. The second one, which is obviously massive, is the environment. It is crazy. I wrote down some stats. I'm just going to um, ch double check them here. Basically, in terms of wet wipes, in the UK, we use 11 billion wet wipes a year, 11 billion. They are being pulled out of drains. They're the biggest cause of drains being blocked. So they're rocking up on beaches, on the coast. They may say that they are, some of them, um, you know, biodegradable, but they're not. I read that 93% of blockages in UK sewers were caused by non-biodegradable plastic, things like wipes. They are also, obviously if you put them in the bin, then they're going to go to the landfill. Um, in terms of nappies, it takes between 200 and 500 years for a nappy to actually decompose. That blew my mind. That really did blow my mind. And for wipes, I think it was like 100 years. I did write it down somewhere, but I'm not actually sure where I wrote it. That is kind of insane when you think about it. And with the nappies as well, so some of the stats about nappies, so every child um, who uses disposable nappies generates half a tonne of landfill waste a year. Half a tonne. 
That is a lot of waste. And as I said, it takes 200 to 500 years for that to decompose. When I started looking into these facts, it was really the environmental issues that I was most initially concerned about or that really influenced me to switch to the reusable nappies. We've taken a little while to build them up and have enough to be able to do it, you know, 90% of the time now. The wipes I still take out sometimes. I use the water wipes and that's more to avoid the chemicals. I know that they're still not good for the environment, but we also have our reusable wipes, which we use at home. And these are the ones for her bum. They're um, wet wipes, I think that's the brand. Oh, I'll double check, sorry, my brain's not working. And also we have, just use cloths. So I, um, I've showed you in a previous video, I'll link below. I have a jar of um, old face cloths that I have cut up that we use for Ivy's face and her hands in the house. We never use wipes to like wipe her face or her hands unless, well, unless it's an absolute emergency. Yeah, we don't use them in the house. So yeah, the, the, the environmental issue is probably the biggest factor that most people would consider because, you know, there's the huge plastic issue with all the other plastic that we find in shops, which is for many people less easy to control because it's hard, like you cannot buy certain foods, like spinach, for example. I've not found anywhere that sells spinach that's not in a plastic bag. And that's kind of, a lot of the time, that is harder for us to avoid. But with nappies, we can control that situation and we can switch. And because I've been doing it for a few months now, I just feel so much more confident. And, you know, there's, as I said, there's so many myths about them being stinky or them being, you know, they're no more stinky than a normal nappy. That stinks when you change it. Yes, there's the odd occasion where you have to kind of scrape it a little bit, but you can use, um, you can use a liner. We haven't actually used liners the past couple of days and it's absolutely fine. Um, and the last thing I wanted to talk about is the cost. So basically we were using the Sainsbury's own brand, I can't remember what they are, nappies, um, which roughly cost five pounds for 66 nappies. Now at this stage, um, you know, Ivy might go through five or six nappies a day, probably at the most, unless, you know, she's got eaten too many lentils or something. You alright baby? Um, yeah, I think mine goes through five or six nappies a day and if I work that out then that packet of nappies, so 66 nappies for five pounds, which lasts roughly 13 days, will cost us about 140 pounds a year. And that's just using a cheap brand of nappies, so I hate to think how much it would cost if you were using like Pampers or one of the eco brands, which are way more expensive. And for us to get kitted out so far, um, with reusable nappies, it's cost us about £150 and those nappies will last her for as long as she is using nappies. So I feel really good about that and obviously if you use them from baby you're going to save so much more money from newborn but for us, let's just face reality, I just didn't feel like adding another stressful thing onto my life when we do so much washing anyway but now that she's reduced the amount of nappies she's using and generally it's like once a day or twice at the most she'll do a number two and I have been using liners which are about £1.99 and they are biodegradable and they're just like a thin layer but I actually think I might stop using those as well what are you saying Ivy? and the only other cost is um nappy wash but you can use regular washing powder as well I just choose to use the um I think it's tots bots washing powder which costs about six pounds I think and it lasts probably last two months so yeah that's really it I just wanted to share those three key things and just that although it seems scary although the transition seems really like unmanageable especially if you're a busy mom if you're working if you've got other kids if you've got loads of washing to do it seems like a lot more work and it really isn't and it's not just hippy dippy people that are using them. Many, many people are. And you can also get them second hand. Again, there's nothing wrong with second hand. We've got 90% of ours second hand from the Napa Lady Facebook page. There is a high demand for them and they are a lot cheaper. So you might pay six or seven pounds per nappy rather than like maybe 12 or 13. I hope that was helpful and perhaps convinced you to give it a go. Even if you got a couple of um, reusable nappies and just tried it out for a day. There's also a nappy hire um, facility. I'll link below. I'm not sure. I've not had that. I've not tried that, but I know you can try before you buy. There are various different groups in different cities that allow you to do that. So I'll link that below. 
thanks for watching and I would just love to know if um, these kind of influencing factors convince you that it's a good idea to try reusable nappies. As I said, not perfect. It took me a lot of convincing and it's only really now that I feel like I've got that process under, like it's part of my kind of daily process. I know what I'm doing. I now figured out night times. I feel like I don't have to buy nappies anymore. Like before I felt I had to have a backup just in case. Are you tired, sweet pea? So I think this one needs a little snooze. Have a lovely week and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.